You are watching Endeavor TV, and this is an Asus 1001P which I took apart. And I'm going to tell you how I did it and some quick few steps. So, first, you have to start off by taking off the cover of the RAM. Actually, if you only want to change the RAM, then you only need to unscrew this one little screw here right there and then you can take off the cover and just change the RAM by releasing it by pressing here on the both sides as you can see it comes out really quickly and you need a DDR2 Wait, let me see how you can see it the best DDR2 1 gigabyte 800 or 5300 um, RAM module doesn't matter which company but it should be this big not the bigger one so ask for a sodium or just a notebook 2 gig um, RAM stick there isn't any possibility in um, putting in more than 2 gigs in here if you want to put it back all you need to do is just put it like this press it inside and then down to the bottom there till it clicks in on both sides and then you have your RAM inside again if you want to take apart the whole thing like I did, you have to unscrew the four screws on each end and another screw here. I left that inside because it didn't come out. So it's five screws plus the one here with the RAM. After that, all you need to do is uh, take off the keyboard. Let me show you. So the keyboard is just on like this. It doesn't have any screws. You need to take a plastic card, like a credit card you don't want to use anymore, and go in here. And as you can see on the plastic cover, you have four little small plastic uh, dots that you have to um, press inside to get the keyboard released. After you release the keyboard, you have to unplug the cable here on the bottom. But that's not that hard. Then after that, you to look like this and then you have to take out another uh, seven screws which are uh, here are two there's another one here with which one you void the warranty so if you want to change the hard drive you will use the warranty this is the fourth fifth sixth and the seventh is somewhere hidden I can't remember is this one two three four five six and yeah maybe that's it so it's six screws after you took that off uh, oh yeah and after you take the screws off you just start uh, pu pulling it up here on the side and go around with the plastic card here in each corner make sure that you do that really gently and don't go uh, inside too far then you can just take it off you need to un uh, release another cable here on the bottom and then you are actually all inside and I took the hard drive out already which wasn't that hard because you only have to unscrew one screw right here and then you can take it out like this it even has something to hold uh, to pull it up so it's really easy and if you want to change the hard drive you need to take the hard drive out of this metal case so you have to unscrew another four screws here on the sides and then you can just take out the 160 gigabyte Seagate hard drive or I think in the 1005 uh, PE it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive as you can see we have 5400 um, rounds per minute so you just have to take this out put in SSD screw it back together screw this back inside like that and just um, follow the steps I just told you uh, the other way around back some notes about the inside of the uh, Asus 1001P as you can see here it says 3G con so there might be a 3G uh, module available soon or not the module but you can buy the whole thing with a 3G modem which uh, actually needs to um, get under this whole thing because the um, SIM card reader is right here um, below this then we have here of course the wireless card this is the card reader and what's el what else is interesting 
Well, that's actually all it. So this is the Asus 1001P for n TV. This was Balash Gal and let's hope I can uh, put this back together.